With this video, we would like to present our work, which is devoted to knowledge transfer for MRI semantic segmentation. Semantic segmentation of magnetic resonance images is a highly relevant task and has plenty of application in medicine. For instance, it is used to analyze and monitor tumors, detect various malformations such as multiple sclerosis, plaques or white matter hyperintensity in the brain, etc. It is widely known that deep neural networks demonstrate state-of-the-art performance when it comes to semantic segmentation of images. But such models require large label datasets to be trained on. Unfortunately, it is rather difficult to collect such a dataset of medical images, mainly due to expensive annotation, which requires hours of work of several professional radiologists. Privacy issues are also very common. As a result, it is really hard to find large enough dataset to train a deep neural network from scratch. In our work, we address the problem of semantic segmentation on small datasets of high-dimensional medical objects. Our solution is based on the several crucial practical observations. The first one is that when we do have a large sample, we can notice that three-dimensional convolutional filters after training have a very clear structure. The second observation is that the transfer learning, which is a common technique used in deep learning, works quite poorly if two medical datasets differ in some crucial properties such as disease, MRI modality, and so on. Thus, in our solution, we suggest transfer information about the structure of convolutional filters rather than the white themselves, from the large dataset, which we call source, to the smaller dataset of interest, it referred to as target. We do that by imposing implicit prior distribution on convolutional filters. The approach that allows us to do that is called deep weight prior. The main idea of deep weight prior is that it trains a deep neural network with implicit prior distribution. As an implicit prior, we can use a variational encoder. The algorithm of the method is the following. We use a source dataset to collect nicely trained convolutional filters. We have to train the model several times to get a large enough dataset of filters. Assuming that each filter is independent, we combine all of them into one dataset. On the next step, we train VAE. It's a generative model, which gives us a an implicit distribution over filters. Finally, we perform variational inference on the target dataset, where VAE from the previous step is used as a prior. We have conducted experiments on the MRI of human brain. We use a dataset with multiple sclerosis as a source dataset and use bootstrap samples to train several UNET models to segment multiple sclerosis plaques. To collect more filters from our trained models, we apply cycling learning rate and collect a large enough set of structured filters. Afterwards, we train our prior distribution. We group filters from each block of the UNET model and train separate VIE for each block. Finally, the widely known brain tumor segmentation dataset was used as a target. We select small subset of it ranging from 5 to 20 images, to test performance of the method specifically when the training data is scarce. 50 scans were kept away from the dataset as a test data. The figure that you can see on the slide shows performance of the proposed approach in blue, in described settings in terms of dissimilarity coefficients on the left and intersection of union on the right. We compare a deep weight prior with the model which was randomly initialized, the orange line, and models which were fine-tuned, green and red lines. In the latter case, we initialize weights using QNET trained on multiple sclerosis dataset and then fine-tune the whole network or only input and output blocks of the QNET. To sum up, the conducted experiments show that transferring knowledge using prior distribution boosts the performance as opposed to the conventional transfer learning method. Thank you for your attention. We look forward to seeing you on the poster session.